Hello everyone, my name is John Minisondra and today I will be demonstrating how to paint a landscape painting. So this will be an easy uh, landscape painting guys with um, with a mountain of course and I'm going to put a waterfalls and also um, some autumn trees and pine trees. Okay, so but before that I'm going to introduce to you first my materials. This is my paint palette. I have here the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you always observe guys that I'm, I am always using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn on how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And these are my brushes. I have here 2 inches flat brush, um, number 11 nylon flat brush, long handled. Number 11, bristle flat brush, long handled. And I have also here number 8, nylon flat brush, long handled. Number 6, um, filbert nylon brush, short handled. And number 9, um, nylon flat brush, short handled. And number 1, liner brush for the details. You can also use round brush, 0, double zero, triple zeros. Okay, so this is my canvas. It has three. Um, it is um, ten by twelve inches. It has it has three coats of prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso, and I made this myself. Okay, and water, guys, to thin the paint. And I have here a water spray, guys, so that um, when I spray here, it will make my surface of my canvas a little wet then it won't be hard to create the strokes or or it won't be hard to paint okay okay so I'm going to start now I'm going to start with the demonstrations and first I'm going to use this flat brush um, uh, two, in, uh, 2 inches Okay, um, first guys you need to wet your brush, you just have to dip the, to dip the tip of your sorry, dip the tip of your brush into the water and make it a little wet. So uh, from, that, from time to time guys, um, if ever it feels hard when you use your brush or your brushes, just dip the tip of your brush into the water. And don't um don't add water too much or don't dip it um too long so that um and there will there there won't be any uh, there won't be um, lots of water in it. Okay, so I'm going to do first the sky. So of course I'm going to use the white and and the blue here. Just white and blue. I think I'm going to wet it. I'm going to spray it with water, guys, to make it a little wet, so that uh, it will be easy to use my brush and to create the strokes okay so here let's start with this guy I'm going to add some white okay so I'm going to add more then white That's a fight. Okay. That's it. We add more white. My palette. So again guys, you just have to blend the colors here, all the way here, from left to right, just blend it until you get the perfect um, blend of your sky, okay, that's it, so I want, I want to make 
the sky um, solid so I'm going to uh, plane more okay that's it okay next so so uh, I'm gonna let it dry first then I'm going to sketch the I'm going to plan first where I'm gonna put the waterfalls then the mountain and also the, the cliffs so there will be lots of cliffs here guys and I will be using um, I think color blue and I'll make I'll just blend it here with the existing um, sky blue color so that it will be become a lighter blue okay here so there so I think I'm gonna put the waterfalls here This will be a waterfall here, guys. Then, of course, a cliff here. Yeah, I'm going to put a cliff here. And also another cliff here. Yeah, this will be... This has lots of cliffs, guys. there and also another cliff here on the side that's it and also one more cliff here and I think I'm going to to add to paint a tree um, here so that will be um, I'm thinking what kind of tree guys so I think I'm going to put um, um, a birch tree yeah but I won't I'm going to add uh, a less um, or um, not so much um, tree leaves so or this will be a tree less tree a tree leaves there will be no tree leaves a tree leaves here there okay yeah I'm going to add one more cliff here there so this will be my plan guys so planning is the um, the best way to 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 know what you're gonna put or or what you're going to paint so that you won't be lost while you're painting. Okay, that's it. So there will be some what they call this um, re water reflections here, of course. There. And also the mountain here, of course, at the top. Okay, so I think I'm going to start adding the clouds now. So I think my paint is a little um, dry. So I'm going to start the clouds. And I think I'm going to dis use the same brush, this brush, guys. Because I'm going to need to paint the detailed clouds, so I'm going to use a smaller brush, this one. Okay, so let's paint the clouds now. So I'm going to mix for the blue here with some red to make it a little violet or something like blue violet, guys. Then white. Okay, it's gonna be awesome. There, we have now a blue violet here. And I think I'm going to zoom in first. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in. Closer. There. That's it. So, continue. So I have here the blue violet, so let's add some blue violet on our sky here. So just do it carefully guys. And slowly of course. Our paint's still a little wet, so some of the paints are mixing to the background. That will be fine. Add 
getting more clouds here, darker clouds. This is gonna be a little afternoon scene, guys, like um, 4 p.m. or something like that. Because our clouds is darker, so that will be the scene that I'm painting right now. There, let me add more. Eh? And I think I'm going. I'm gonna cover some of the clouds. I'll cover it with the mountain. So all we have to do here, guys, is just paint it like this. Okay, you just have to cover some areas like like what I'm doing. Okay. And next, let's add the highlights. So, I'm using the same brush, guys. I'll be using the same brush, the number eight um, flat brush. So, I'm gonna make it uh, a little yellowish. So, I'm gonna use this white here. Then, a little amount of yellow, just a little amount of yellow, guys. Just remember that that's just a little amount of yellow. And let's add. Uh, highlights here there so let's oh you can use the punching or tapping technique just do it carefully so again guys my my highlights uh, my light is coming from the left and uh, left sorry left guys so all the highlights will be on the left side okay there here on the left side it's gonna be a really beautiful clouds guys and here let's add more clouds and you, always, you should always be patient guys in painting the clouds I know that clouds is not that easy to paint but that's why you need to practice more painting the clouds okay so again here let's put everything on the left side the highlights okay there and here there I'm going to use the white the pure white to add more so you can put the white guys, the pure white on the tip of your brush like this. Then you're gonna do it like like this one, so that you can add uh, a lighter white color, a thicker white, and that is way lighter than any color you had a while ago. Okay, so we have now some sorts of clouds there. There. So we have now the clouds. Um, beautiful clouds. Good. Now I'm going to do first the background colors, guys. With this um, remaining um, part here on the below the this part, I'm gonna add more dark color first before we're gonna proceed to the mountains. I f before I forget, and of course because I'm gonna let it dry first, so it's gonna do first the bottom. So I'll be using this brush guys, the number 11 flat brush, long handle, then I'm gonna, I'll be mixing in darker colors, so, okay, now I'm going to use the blue, there, some red, okay, some yellow, there, 
I think I'll just use this black guys black and blue color with a little white to make it bluish Then we're going to use the red and the yellow here. Let's add some something uh some color brown here. There. So I'm gonna use the black guys and red and uh, no blue, sorry. Just the blue and the black. There. So we have now the first background colors. And next we're going to add more here. There's the red and the yellow and the blue. So we'll just red and yellow guys and blue. A little amount of blue. This will be a, something like a dark brown. Then you know we got a little blue in it. So again guys, I'm going to explain. So it doesn't matter what color you're gonna put so as long as it will be a dark dark color. Like what I'm doing. I'm using red, all the colors I have except the white. All the colors I have on my palette. Okay, so blue here. There. Okay. Now here also I'm going to use this red and the yellow with some blue color here. Some black. So let's just fill this part with the colors guys before we begin to proceed to painting. Okay and here also They use the black, the yellow, and the red. So just use the black, the real, and the red, and some blue color there. Some red and yellow. And there. So you have another background colors. What can we do next? So let's add the reflections. Reflections, guys. I'm going to make it some something like blue green. So I'm going to use this yellow and the blue only, and some white. There. So let's add the background color first with for the reflection. So just do the strokes from top to bottom. There. So everything's dark now. So again guys, just yellow and blue for the reflection here. Anyways, this is just the background color. We're going to, to add more detail, details later, maybe another coat. 
and it's mixed for blue and white just blue and white there So first we're going to just uh, blend it here. Okay, I'll just blending all the possible colors here, guys. So that I can have a, a smooth uh, effect. Okay, so we have now the background colors, which is good. Okay, guys, so let's start painting the mountains. Okay. So I'll be using this big brush first, the number 11, number 11 flat brush, um, nylon, and I'm going to paint first the blue is gray. So I'm going to use this blue here with some black color. So just blue and black guys with white. More, more. Um, more black and some white okay that's it this will be the perfect color so it will be the lighter gray yes blue color guys and it's at the mountain that's it going to mix another free as blue so just blue black and white here there so it's some white to make it a little lighter You can add water guys if ever if it, it feels hard then just add the water or just dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it a little wet. Yeah. Maybe I think I'm going to make this mountain guys um taller. Yeah. And add some white. there some taller mountain there and I'm going to add some white lighter color on this part to make it this part um, a little misty And also here some lighter color. It's 
some white guys in this part to make it misty yeah there so that's it so you have now the background colors for mountain A really dark mountain okay now I'm going to add some closer mountain so I'm gonna make some blue color guys with some black here and of course another white but make sure guys this one is darker than the previous color so let's add here Now I'm going to add the highlights guys on this mountain and I will be using a smaller brush this brush guys number 9 flat brush um, nylon and short handle and I will be mixing a very light um, yellowish color so I'm going to use this white here with some yellow guys and some red to make it a little orange some red there so it's something like yellowish in color there and some white make it um, thick guys the color so let's add some highlight there I think I'm going to mix for uh, lighter so add darker so I'm going to use an orange color here with some black So you can you know, just make one stroke guys There There And of course here Then also guys, this color, we need to use this color again by adding more here, but I'm going to make it uh, a reddish, so I'm going to use some red and yellow, I'm going to add some red and yellow here, there. To add some, some lights guys on the back of the mountain. and also here but some parts guys we need to cover it so it doesn't matter now we're going to add the highlights so more highlights guys you should clean your brush first so that you won't spoil the color existing on your palette okay so i'm going to use this white and some yellow and with a little amount of red okay here so it's uh, something like yellow in color guys so let's add more white there it should be thick enough to to stand out or to create a lighter color so one stroke guys just use the one stroke technique there yeah. and also here
let's add some yellowish color there let's add some yellow and red that's too much something like a rocky mountain guys there yeah I think that will be enough I didn't want to overdo it. Okay, so we have another mountain. Yeah, that's a pretty mountain, guys. I like it. Okay. Next, we're going to add some um, some green mountain here. I'll be using the same brush, then the number nine flat brush, and I'll be mixing green, guys. So I'm gonna use this yellow here and some existing blue here guys or some I'm going to add some blue I'm going to mix for blue green and red so white and red guys and yellow okay so more blue much more blue and white more blue and white so it's something like a blue green guys there and lots of white there you can actually use a tapping or punching technique I'm going to add some yellow guys you can use a punching as a tapping technique some more yellow more white there This will be a green mountain guys or mountain near near to us. There, that's it. So yeah, this will be enough. Okay. Then next guys we're going to add some pine trees. So I'll be using this um number six um felbert brush guys and i'm gonna mix for darker green or bluish gray so i'm gonna use this color here with some yellow to make it greenish and some red to make it darker green there some white to make it lighter more 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 white here so let's add more pine trees there. So you guys just tap, just tap to bottom, tap to bottom, strokes, and do it carefully, guys, to create uh, the pine trees. Actually, you can use this also, just like you create um, just like you are painting um, what do you call this um, just like you are painting some grasses there to create a forest of pine trees
there. to the next so I'm going to add some forest here guys and I'll be using another brush I'm going to using the I'll be using this brush guys the number 11 fat brush yeah I'm um, bristle and I'm gonna mixing for darker green so blue yellow and red Here's the tapping of punching technique here. And also, I guess I'm going to put some pine trees also here, the near, the nearer pine trees. So I'm gonna use this blue, red, and some yellow, of course, to make it a green color. So maybe some pine trees here. So use this technique. Actually, it's similar to tapping, guys, but you need to add uh, the details on the pine tree. trace on the left side of the right side of the painting I think I'm going to add the waterfalls guys, the the shade the shades first of the waterfalls or the background color of the waterfalls. So I'm gonna use this blue again here with some black I uh, know yeah black and blue and some white. It should be curious blue guys. There. So I'm going to put the waterfall here. This would be a high waterfall, guys. The motor disturbance here. Okay, I'm using a number 8 flat brush, guys. And some reflection, of course. Now let's add the color of the cliff guys. So let's start first with the cliffs. 
so I'll be using this flat brush number nine and I'm doing first the highlights the very highlights so I'm gonna use this yellow and some red to create some brown color I did a little amount of black and yellows and more white that's it so I think I'm going to move a little down to to create um, a wider view yes that's it let's add uh, the clip here it appears rich you um, um, a little orange color okay and do it carefully guys here I think I'm going to do first the darker color brown so before I'm gonna put the highlights I'm sorry guys here red and black red and yellow there and it's a white lighter color there We do add another grayish color here. We can add lots of colors here, guys, like gray, greenish, or whatever. Some white. I'm going to retouch this part we need some dark color and some lighter co grayish color guys I'm going to add here yeah will be some lighter gray some white so I'm I'm adding first the mid tones guys okay there then start the highlights so here let's put this color part also yeah. it's a um, yellowish um, orange color guys to create a very highlights here also And don't overdo it guys. Always remember that. Okay. And I'm going 
to add more white. I need to add more white guys here to create uh, lighter highlights. There. There. So again guys, don't overdo it. And just follow what I'm doing. We have now the cliffs, guys. Very pretty cliffs, okay. With huge rocks, and also with we can put also here. Very bright color for the cliffs. Let's add some orange and browns, okay. there and don't overdo it guys don't add lots of color I uh, know um don't put everything in the highlights there. And also here, let's add more yellowish color. There. Okay, I'm just I'm just glazing, guys, the color create some shades of um, brown or greenish color there that's it that's how you're gonna do it yeah okay then on top of it of this guys gonna put some green um shades for the for the um process. So I'm going to Okay. Okay here guys. I'll be using this number eight flat brush. Um, nylon and some green and yellow and some red and some white lots of white and yellow there okay more green and more yellow then There guys. Just put it here. This will be some clearing here guys.
and use the topping of punching for the for the for the edges. Then I'm going to add some yellow, more yellow and white to create a lighter color of yellowish green. There, so we have now a very flat and the uh, flat grassland on, on that cliff. Okay, and it, it looks nice, guys. Honestly, especially when you see it in person. Okay, so I'm going to add more green leaves here, and I'm using the same brush, guys. The number eight flat brush. Okay, and let's add more clearing here. There. There. And also here. There. I love it. Now let's add some highlights on our pine trees, guys, on the back here. There. Just add some shades of green, guys. Or just pine trees there so we can see the pine trees clearly now that's great looks beautiful now let's add some highlights on our waterfalls so I'm going to add some white and the blue is gray color here there it's blue is gray so I'm using number nine flat brush guys and just do it from top to bottom Like this, and let's add some some disturbance, major disturbance on the on the base of the waterfall. I really don't know what to call this, guys, but it's some sort of uh, water disturbance on the water on the base of the waterfalls. There, and let's add some white, the pure white, to with more highlights. There. Just do it smoothly from top to bottom. There, enough. Okay. And also on the base. Okay. I think that's really pretty. Nice. Okay, what else? So I think we need to add some some details on this um, pine trees, guys, on the back. So I'll be using this green here, the light green some yellow and green here and some white to create a lighter color 
and I'm using uh, the sable, uh, no, the, the, what do you call this, the, the Falberg brush, guys. And just use the topping of punching to it diagonally. I'm going to add white. Okay, there. Okay, and here guys is add some growth of trees. There. And also on the bottom of the pine trees. some plants here like trees or other plants okay and let's add some highlights on that tree some white and yellow green yellow and blue just do it smoothly guys okay to create the smaller trees And also here. There. So you now some forest of trees. Touch it. Think I have this painting, yes, it's pretty awesome. Okay, what's next? So I think I'm going to move down a little there and I'm going to add some details here guys I'll be using this brush to add some clips yeah so I'm gonna mix for brown and yellow and red okay here let's add some clips white some bluish color anything there with some brown and yellow there so this should not be so bright guys because uh, there's no light in this this sh there should not and there's no light on this part so it should be dark dark brown okay and here also let's add more dark brown there and I think here also And also here guys, let's add more dark brown on this this part. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mix for another brown guys and some white there and some yellow. There. 
and don't overdo it guys just follow what I'm doing okay. there wow this is pretty yeah. this is nice looks beautiful and let's add some green here guys I'll be using a bigger brush, this brush guys here to add some green color or plants here so I'm gonna mix for green and yellow, blue and a little bit of red and white more blue, yellow and just tapping or punching technique there And also here guys Yeah Now let's add some reflections on our on our water Okay But first I'm going to retouch adding more highlights here guys so I'm going to add the white here and the existing brown color with, with yellow and some red some more white there let's add more details on this this cliff okay now I'm going to mix a uh, brownish um, orange so here just red and yellow And also here, let's add some orange color to add more uh, light, lighter tones on our painting. Okay. Okay. So what's next, guys? The water reflections. So here we're going to add I'm going to use this color here to light the light brown. And you can do this. But first we need to spray it with water guys to make it a little wet so that it would be hard to create the strokes. So just create the vertical strokes guys of lights of highlights so that um, we can mimic the the color we see here okay even if it's not accurate guys but if you put the right color then it will be an effective way on on, on making the highlights okay oh no I'm sorry making the reflection highlights this is not the highlights and it's also the highlights of the reflection of the of the cliff there so you have now the cliff and also here we're gonna use this light color so that we can mimic the color we see above they're just all in vertical 
all in vertical lines there There, so you know the pretty. So we can add some browns to add more colors on our reflection. There. So you can see now the really clear reflection guys and also of course I'm going to make this um, lighter there and also here guys on the top and also here there so we have not very bright reflections okay and I'm going to retouch here guys adding more green so I'm going to use this red and yellow and no blue red and yellow more blue and white There. Now let's going to add some um, water ripples, guys, or waves, on our, so that it will be it will become um, much realistic. Okay. So this part guys, it should be lighter blue. So I'm gonna use this blue here with some yellow, more blue. And yellow with, uh, no, not yellow guys, but white and some black or some, some red. So just horizontal lines guys. No but first we need to do this also. Vertical lines. There. 
going to mix another color light blue guys here and let's add some vertical strokes to create a realistic effect of the water there will be some waves there Let's add another here. There. This will create some water waves, guys, to make our thing water much way realistic. So I think that looks realistic now. Yeah. And of course guys, do not forget the highlights of the water. Here. Okay, let's get some disturbance. Or reflection or waves. Now on the okay, so I'm going to mix a lighter blue guys, lighter sky blue, and let's add some um, waves here so on the on the water walls base. Okay. The lines guys should be smaller. Or thinner. Okay. There. Do it carefully, guys. You can create a long or short um, horizontal strokes or lines. And also here. There. So I think the water looks way realistic now. Okay, so I think this is really nice painting, guys. Yeah. So what else? So I'm going to add more details. So first, I'm going to add some plants here using the same brush. So I'm gonna mix for okay, green color. I'm gonna mix another green color, guys. So yellow, blue, and red, and white. And let's add some grasses here and bushes. There. There. Some plants. Okay, now I'm going to add some tree. A tree here, guys. Um, this will be a. Uh, Tell this. Um, this will be. But for that, I'm going to move it upper. To create a um, clear view, wait. There. So I'm going to put, I'm going to paint um, um, a red tree here. So I will be using this brush, guys. No, I'm going to use the another brush, the 
the number six um, filbert brush I'm going to put a um, tree a red tree here so I'm gonna I'm going to use this red and yellow where's the white so I'm going to make add a little amount of white guys to make it opaque and more yellow there and I'm gonna put every tree here okay just tapping technique there Okay, so I'm going to use a smaller brush. This is number one liner brush, guys. And some black color, and yellow, and red. Black. And I'm going to put the tree trunk here. I guess if you are having hard time just uh, painting the the trees, you should. Um, I have also a single tutorials or um, specific tutorials on painting the tree, guys. You can check it on my channel. Okay. Then you should not forget uh, okay, using this color here, the dark greens. Can I put the uh, the shadows? Then we're going to add the highlights on our tree, on our yellow um, red tree. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna add some white, some yellow and white on the orange color. And let's add some. Okay, I'm gonna add some white and some red and some yellow. Enjoy the stopping technique or punching. Just put all the highlights on top of the tree. There. Let's do it carefully, guys, and slowly. And also, we need to add the uh, some falling leaves here there that's nice okay then what's next guys I'm going to add as I told you um, a while ago that I'm going to put um, a burst tree here with no leaves so I'm gonna put that but first I'm going to add the highlights on these trees below there I oh, know the the plants here I'm going to add some highlights so I'm gonna use this yellow again with some blue and white and I'll be using the same brush guys the the filbert brush Okay, 
export some highlights here some plants and bushes there and also here there that's enough and I think also here let's add more highlights on this part there and I'm going to add some white and yellow And also here. And here. And I think also here. Okay, that's it. So now let's add the. I'm going to add the. What do you call this? The. The birch tree. Okay. But I'm going to zoom out to have a clearer view. There. Yes, this will be a pretty painting, guys. And I'll be using this brush. The number 8 uh, flat brush. Then I'll be mixing some white. And some black here. With some red to create some brown and yellow. So lighter brown, guys. Then with, with some white here. And let's upgrade this. Let's paint birch tree here. On old birch tree. Huge old birch tree. There. Let's add some branches. There. Okay. Then I'm going to use a smaller brush case. to add the uh, highlights so we use this white here and the numbers number nine flat brush short handle let's add some highlights here okay okay so to add more highlights on this first three guys here there Use the white, the pure white, and of course, guys, the highlights should be in the left side. There, and also here. Then let's add some bluish highlights guys on the 
on the right side so blue and white and black just a, blue, a little bluish gray there and again guys just horizontal strokes like this yeah okay and this part guys should be darker so I'm gonna make that darker so I'm gonna use this black here in white just black and white and blue I'm gonna make it a little brown so I'm gonna use the I'm going to add some red and yellow Add some um, vertical strokes, guys. No horizontal, small strokes or short strokes to create the, the branches. There. And also here. There. Then let's add more branches guys, but I'm gonna use a smaller brush, the number one liner brush. And I'm using darker colors, darker a gray color. There. To create some branches on our first tree. This is an old tree guys. And you can play with the branches you can put lots of branches here I think I'm, I'm not gonna put any any what do you call this I think I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna put any uh, any leaves here It. Now let's going to add some details guys, the black details. So I'm going to use this black, red and yellow. In there, I'm just going to put some dark details of the tree trunk of the, or the branches also. Of the of this um first tree okay there yeah one more there you can put it anywhere guys on the tree trunk doesn't matter just don't overdo it I'm going to make this base um, darker okay there Yeah. Okay, lastly guys, I'm going to add some plants here. We're seeing the the number six um filbert brush. And we used to use this yellow and red and blue to create some green and also red, more yellow, and of course white. So here, let's add some plants. There.
me to watch some dark. Dark Queen, yes. I'm just retouching guys, actually I am done with this painting, so I'm just retouching a little and some white, more lighter color there okay, that's it and I think we need to make this part lighter guys the cliff here so we need to use this orange here and some more white and yellow and white there I'm using the Failbird brush and again guys don't overdo it So I think I am done guys with my um, painting demonstration and this I think the, the longest it's, I think it's um, almost 1 hour and 30 minutes <laughs> So I hope you enjoy guys uh, watching this tutorial and my advice guys you keep on practicing keep on painting The more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you know how to mix the colors That's why I'm using limited colors my palette because I want to tell you how to mix and get the desired colors you want Okay guys, thank you very much. Please hit like, add some comments, and subscribe for more videos in the future. And if you're painting with me now guys, just follow everything I did in this video and, and just enjoy. Okay, thank you guys. Have a nice day and God bless you all.